In this video, we are going to compare film photography versus digital photography. In my last trip before the world went on lockdown was a road trip down to Florida. I have a couple of friends there that we went to visit. That was not our intended trip, but that's what we ended up going on given everything happening at that point in time. So this was the first week of March. And so just wanna preface that before we get too far into this. But I took both my Fujifilm X-T3 as well as my Nikon FM with Portra 400 film. And I was taking photos of both throughout the trip and being inspired by the Byte Review, who does a whole series of film photography versus other modern cameras. So I decided to share some photos with you from both cameras. And I didn't necessarily get one for one photos of every single one of these instances. So pay attention to the notes on the bottom of the image to see which camera was used for that particular image. You'll see that they definitely have different colors and styles. The photos that were taken on the Fujifilm X-T3 were all edited in Lightroom, taken as raw images and then edited. So there is some color styles and editing styles for me. And then from the Nikon FM, the film that I was using was the Portra 400, which is where you're going to get most of the colors. And then I sent that off to the dark room and had them scan those and send those back to me. I've done no additional editing on those photos, so I'm gonna share those with you as I have them. So with that, I'm going to let this run with no voiceover and I will come back at the end and give you my thoughts. But before we get in, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe as we have more photo content coming your way. And as we're going through, make notes of which photos you like the most and leave those down in the comments below. that is going to do it. These are photos that I enjoy, both from the Fujifilm camera, a couple of iPhone photos that I snuck in there, as well as the Nikon FM. Now, I don't necessarily think one is always going to be better than the other. I think they are both tools to be used in different scenarios. But in this case, I really do like the warmth that is coming from the Nikon FM. Now for the photos that I'm getting from the Fujifilm, I do like the sharpness and detail that you're able to get that you're not gonna get from a older film camera. But really that is all just personal preference and really can change depending on the situation. 
So make sure and get out there, use the tools that you have and test things out. If you have access to a film camera, get out there and try it. If you have access to a digital camera, get out there and use that or use your phone. Pretty much everyone has one these days and they have amazing cameras on there. So get out there, make photos and just get started.